Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. Some sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, my name is Greta. I am an intuitive reader. Um, first and foremost, I trust my intuition. I do look at your horoscope, the sun placement, the moon placement, and the planetary placements. But intuition is the way to go. And I think that tarot readings are a wonderful place for you to practice using your intuition as well. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Sagittarius. Sagittarius, when we look at that first row, that top row, we will be looking at your career, your public life, your professional life, um, money, finances, and energy surrounding you there. The second row is your home life, your personal life, um, love interest, husbands, wives, uh, children, uh, potential love interest, um, potential marriage, potential engagements. The third row is final thoughts, final messages, final takeaway. What is it that Spirit would like you to take away from this reading? And the foundation, the basis of your reading is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles has come up quite a bit in reading this week. And it's really the energy of creating space to manifest. I like to call this my pre-manifestation. It's getting everything into our physical environment in order to create or in order to reach our goals, our desires to achieve. And that is backed by the three of wands, getting everything ready to manifest as we move into the future. And let's see how that plays in to the rest of your reading this week. You are definitely a money magnet. You are attracting a large sum of money. A large sum of money is coming your way. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, which is legacy wealth. You're getting more than just money. You're getting more than just a large sum. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, I'm sorry. I just got a little bit off track when I seen all that money. Okay. And contracts. And so we start off with a disappointment, a letdown, a heartache in your public life. And so this disappointment really has to do with um, contracts as shown here by the king of swords agreements. Um, this can be a written agreement. Most of the time when I see the king of swords, I think of a written agreement, but agreement that is either written or verbal. Followed by the star key. You are the star and you know, Sagittarius, you are really a great humanitarian. You do, it's, you know, when we, at the beginning of the year, I would say almost every reading you receive this star card because what you have been working on in your public life to a large degree has been to bring about a greater good not only for yourself but also for those in your work environment and also those in your home environment when you started this task when you started this agreement it was really 
for the greater good while you are reaping the benefits that was not your deciding factor that was not the determining factor the determining factor is how much good for the whole will come of this situation followed by the hermit card which is higher education higher knowledge higher wisdom I don't know if part of your agreement is to continue education, um, to learn something new, to learn a new skill set. This agreement, this contract is for a You're talking about a large sum of money and you've never talked or agreed about or on a large sum of money of this size before. This is new to you and you're finding you're a little bit worried. You're a little bit stressed about it just because it's a larger amount that is outside of your comfort zone, for lack of a better word. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Sagittarius. And, you know, Sagittarius, it's okay. The source wants you to know that you are ready and that you are moving in the direction of your dreams. Don't stress. Most people, when agreeing on a contract of this type or of this source, they do lose their cool. And this is a sum of money that I, uh, that you're appreciating. And so I, it feels like stress, but I think it's the stress because you're appreciating this. You really do see the weight of this. You understand um, that you're moving into a new or different income bracket. And with that new income bracket comes a degree, a weight of responsibility, ensuring that it's works or it's used for the greater good source wants you to know you've got this you are ready don't sweat the small stuff and i think in the future as you're looking back you will see that you were sweating the small stuff you've got this congratulations on the large sum of money though <laughs> and i see very good things coming out of this money. Your heart is definitely in the right place. I'm so happy for you. And then we have the chariot card. Victory. The champion, the, the competition. Um, victory over competition. And here again, we see you on a new adventure, wanting a new adventure, needing a new adventure. The death card, uh, lack of interest, lack of zeal, um, something that we're not passionate about or something that is not sitting well with us. There's a competition that is leaving a bad taste in our mouth or you're trying something that is leaving a bad taste in your mouth and the hangman card um, enlightenment by choice thinking 
There is a disagreement or a competition about what to do with the money or some of the money. There it's almost like there's three people involved with wanting this money, needing this money, on how to allocate this money. There's someone has a need, someone wants to provide, and someone wants to keep this money. And every person, every family has different ideas on how to best use finances and the purposes are the purpose of finances. And it's not saying that one way is right or one way is wrong. And it's not necessarily important that everyone is in agreement on what to do on this or for this situation. What is important is that we are respectful and supportive of each other's decision. There's no reason for anyone to be uh, disrespectful. And so while I believe you are the one that wants to help your Sagittarius. You want to help someone in need. And someone has a different thought process, a different opinion on that. I would say if it is within your ability to help, that I you have such a kind and gentle heart. I do see you helping. And I do see that that could possibly cause a rift between you and another person. This other person, this is a learning lesson, a growth lesson for them as well. And part of their lesson may just need to be that we need to be respectful and we need to be supportive, even if we are not in agreement. And it, sometimes it's just being supportive that this person knows that you are doing what you feel is right. You are doing what you feel is best. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius. And here we see, we have you thinking and planning and, you know, really having a well thought out plan. And I think maybe even pulling together a financial contract or pulling together a financial plan or visiting a financial advisor 
followed by the Fool card, which is new beginnings, fresh starts, having everything you need for this new beginning, this fresh start. And again, the Ace of Pentacles, a large gift, a large monetary gift, a large sum of money. And this sum of money is followed by the legacy wealth. And, you know, obviously, when we look at that legacy wealth, we see the coins, we see the pentacles, but it's more than that. It is the being able to give and receive this gift from past generations and send it forward to future generations. Um, it, this gift includes the spiritual and uh, emotional gifts associated with legacy wealth. The most profound transportations, what am I thinking? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the most profound transformation begins with introspection. Introspection. And a group setting. And the role, what is, what am I, what am I, Thank you, Spirit. Help me find clarity here. There is a group setting. There is a role that you play within this group that has you questioning how you perceive yourself in social settings. And this gift, this sum of money has you embracing your unique perspective and your unique individuality. And you are being called upon at this time with this gift in this setting to go within and to be fearless. What is coming to you, what you have prepared for is your calling. And that is the message that I have for Sagittarius. Have a blessed one.